Oh, Hello, I mean, any louder than that. Hello, everybody! <laughs> That's a lot better. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for letting me come up and thank Michael for letting me come and do some magic on his birthday. Are you going to turn in, Michael? Nine! Nine. Well, the birthday, Michael. I'm nine. 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 nine years old. I'm nine. He's nine. He's nine. 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 I need lots of volunteers through the show. I always used to call them people who are sitting down, have one hand raised. And people were really quiet throughout the show, too. Um, also, I need everyone to take a magician's oath with me. This is one of the first things I learned. What I need everyone to do is raise a hand, just like this. And repeat after me. I? I. Say your name. Say your name. <laughs> I promise. Promise. Not to tell, Not to tell. How, any how any tricks are done. No matter what. I promise, I promise, I promise not to tell. How any tricks are done. No matter what. I promise okay. Not. Okay, you got it. <laughs> That's because throughout the show, sometimes some of you might have seen some of these tricks or learned some of these oh, tricks from reading. Yeah. Don't ruin it for everyone else. Jenny. Make sure you keep those can a secret. You tell them that? No, the like magician can never tell a secret. I want to show everyone one of the first tricks I ever learned. It's called a rope trick. I'm going to need a helper for this. Maybe two helpers, actually. Oh. What's your name? Katie. Katie, come on up here, Katie. And what's your name? Andy. Yeah. Andrew. Andrew, come on up here, Andrew. Katie and Andrew. Mm -hmm. Now, Katie, I'd like you to stand in front of this case right here. And Andrew, <laughs> I'd like you to stand right over here. Now, Katie and Andrew, have you ever met before? <laughs> okay, are you brother and sister? No. Are you girlfriend boyfriend? Yeah. Are you guys married? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead and shake hands, guys. Don't, don't make a big deal of it. Just come up and shake hands. Good job. Okay, you guys can stop now. Okay, now what I'd like you to do, Michael? I mean. I want you to check this rope and make sure that's a normal everyday rope. While he's checking that, what I want you to do is, Katie, give me your hand. No, your clean one. What I want you to do, Katie, is just go ahead and put your hands right in there. Just clean them up. Good job. Now what I want you to do, Katie, is I want you to hold the rope while well, you inspect the skizzers, okay? You gotta be careful because this is the world's sharpest pair of skizzers, okay? Skizzers? Skizzers, yeah. Oh, skizzers? Okay. No, I can't say the word scissors. I always say the word skizzers. <laughs> you just said it! Scissors! I can't say that word. I have to say skizzers. No, you I just said it! That's what word? You say always say skizzers. Skizzers, yeah. yeah I always why say can't, Why do you say scissors? Oh, I can't pronounce the word scissors. <laughs> okay, these are actually called laser scissors. They're the sharpest pair of scissors in the world. What I need you to do is, you have to hold on to these, but be very careful because they're very sharp, okay? Be very careful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rope. I'm going to take one end of the rope. Take one end of the rope and put it in this hand. I'm going to take the other end of the rope, which is located at the other end, and put it in this hand. I'm going to take the middle of the rope, which is located near the center. I'm going to reach up and I'll make a loop, just like that. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to cut the loop, okay? Now Andy, right? Go ahead and cut the loop. Now Andy, do you see the loop? Do you see my thumb, Andy? What are you going to cut, Andy? Good answer. Cut his thumb open. Good job. Take those away from you. Thank you. Tie the two ends together. I want you to hold one in, Andy. And I want you to hold this end. I want you guys to hold that up over top of your head. Just like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach and I'm going to grab this knot just like that. On the count of three, this knot will magically disappear. Are you guys ready? Ooh. Here we go. On the count of three, I want everyone to yell happy birthday. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday! The rope is as good as new. Nice and straight. <laughs> that was just a practice. Let's try this one more time. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday! Okay, wait, let go, guys, real quick.
This isn't working very good. Can you hold one hand out like this? And I'm going to put this right on there and sandwich it down nice and tight. Don't let anything enter out of there. Okay. Now, Katie, do you know how to use the magic wand? No. Okay, let me no, show you. No, she doesn't. I have a magic wand here. She's crazy. I'll show you how to use it. She's crazy. Okay, now what you do is you take this magic wand, you're going to come over here and you're going to go abracadabra, just like that. Just take this magic wand through and go abracadabra, just like that. Just take it and go abracadabra, just like that. And then you take this magic wand and go abracadabra. Just like that. Take this magic wand. Good job. You come over here and you go abracadabra. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, sometimes when a magic wand breaks, all you have to do is give a pass under the arm just like that, and it'll come back just like new. I want you to use two hands. If you use two hands, it can't break. You two hands come over here and go abracadabra just like that. You can even take the magic wand and could do it behind the back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on the leg. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you what, Katie. Why don't you do this? Why don't you hold the wand like this and go abracadabra, abracadabra, abracadabra. Why don't you try that, Katie? Abracadabra, just like that. Whoa, 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 you're gonna put an eye out there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, sometimes when a magic wand breaks, I bring along a spare. I didn't have a spare, but what I did have is a magic fan. A magic fan is similar to a magic wand. All you have to do is wave it. And you feel that, Katie? You feel that, Andy? Andy, right? That's the magic coming off here and going at whatever you wave it at. Now what I want you to do is just come over here. This is actually imported from a different country. You just open up like this and go <laughs> abracadabra, just like that. Okay. Now, now, you can also do it like that if you want to do it. However you do it, just make sure you open up all the way. Come over here and just wave it right at that. Just come over here and wave it right at that. <laughs> <laughs> heavy-duty, ultra-strong magic wand. Nothing's going to break this magic wand. But it is a little, since this is tight quarters in here, what I want you to do is take a step back. Andy, can you take a step back that way? And can you take a step back that way? And can the audience all take one scoop back? Because we don't know how powerful this is for working. And what I want you to do is hold on to this wand. You're going to come over here. <laughs> hold, on, hold on to this. Hold on to this. Good job. You're gonna... <laughs> Andy. Hold on to the green one. Okay, we're gonna need the green one. I think I know what the problem is. These magic wands are touching one another. Magic wands can never touch each other or they cancel each other out. So what we're gonna have to do, you have to hold these but they can't touch each other. Why don't you take a step forward? What I want you to do is I want you to hold the white one under one arm like that. Can you do that? Hold the uh, green one under another arm. Hold the yellow one in one hand. Hold the blue one in one hand. Hold the red one between your feet. Like How about on your chin, just like that? Can you do that? Can you hold it right there? Good now, see, you only have to be able to wave all these magic wands. Okay? Can you do that? This is how you do that, Katie. You go, Abracadabra. Just like that, okay? Now, what I want you to do I want you to hold on to that knot. And don't let anything interrupt. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get the knot to stay a knot, but to slide right off the end of the rope, okay? When everyone in the audience would start saying, happy birthday, happy birthday, and while everybody's saying that, we're going to try and pull the rope, and the knot will stay in your hands, but the rope will come right out, and the knot should stay a knot when we're finished. Don't forget to wave those magic wands, okay, Katie? Here we go. Hold on really tight. Hold on really tight. Don't move anywhere. Everybody in the audience start saying, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Give my two volunteers a huge. volunteers to do and any other volunteer I have up on stage you guys have to learn how to do one thing before you go sit down you guys have to face the audience put one hand on your stomach put one hand on your back and take a bow just like that and when anyone takes a bow you get a big round of applause thank you when I was nine years old 
And my parents asked me what I wanted to be, and I had told them I wanted to be a magician. That was one of the first tricks that I learned by myself. But they gave me a trick. This was the first trick they ever gave me. i show everyone this. It wasn't really a trick, but it was something to do with magic, and I liked anything that had to do with magic. It was, it was called a fun magic coloring book. There was one problem with my magic coloring book, though. There was nothing to color inside. So it was kind of boring. All it was really was a, a blank book to draw in. I was wondering, though, if everyone here could help me draw some pictures and put in there. You guys want to try this? No. Yeah. What I want everyone to do is hold one finger up like this, even the adults in the back. And then the now, and then now, I want everyone to go nice and big. Go like this. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. No, I say knock, knock. You say, who's there? Let's try this one more time. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yeah. 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 Okay, hold that finger up in the air again. This time, pretend it's a black crayon. Yeah. And what I want you to do is draw pictures in the air, nice and big. Somebody draw a picture of my table. See how the ground has all the stuff on top of it? Draw a picture of the table. Somebody draw a picture of a magician, like that. Draw pictures of clowns. Draw pictures of flowers. Boys and girls. Draw the pictures of my... Oh, bunny rabbits. A lot of magic shows have bunny rabbits. Draw some bunny rabbits. Draw a magic cat. Now what I want everyone to do is reach out and grab that picture right out of the air. Hold that. Remember what it looks like? Now bring it to your mouth, just like this. Now on the count of three, you're going to blow like this. On the count of three, blow your picture right at the book. Is everybody ready? Here we go. Ready? One. Two. Three. You guys got some stinky breath. I can tell you, uh, there's a pictures of um, uh, bunny bunny rabbits. Yeah, bunny rabbits, and, and you really want to see them? Yeah. I guess I'll show you. Pictures of boys and girls, magicians. How do you do that? I didn't do that. <laughs> no, you guys are good. Some good pictures here. I didn't draw that. I didn't, I didn't draw none. Who drew my table? Me. I drew the table. Me. I drew the table. I <laughs> I think what these pictures are excellent. The only thing that I could think you could possibly add to these pictures would be some colors. Color. You guys want to add some colors? No. Yeah. Yeah. Reach onto your clothes and pull the colors off your clothes. Yeah. Pull the reds and the blues and the greens and the oranges and the purples and the blacks. Pull all the colors off your clothes. This time, instead of blowing the colors like this, I want everyone to throw their colors. Ready? Right? On the count of three, everybody throw your colors. Ready? One, two, three. So bright, I could just open the book and reach in here like this and pull the colors out, just like that. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> what color is that? Blue. And Orange. And filled with green. green. And there's lots of purple. And even more. Yellow. And a little bit of red. Occasionally some red. Blue. No more. But look at your pictures. Wow. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, you know. Ooh. Pretty good there. Give yourselves a big round of applause for that. Oh, need some helpers from the audience. Some helpers from the audience. Some people who haven't gone yet. What's your name? Shelby. Shelby? Come on up here, Shelby. What's your name? Steven. Steven, come on up. Oh, no. Shelby and Steven. Okay, Shelby, you want to stand right here? Steven, you stand right there. This is a trick I call a trick. This is a silk trick. I call it the trick with the yellow and the red silk. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yellow one, I'm going to crumble it up in this hand just like this, and it'll actually it's disappear. Green. It's green. No, it's... It's green. You're, you're right. That's the wrong color. Tell you what, Shelby, can you hold on to these for me? You're going to have to use this. This is called a magic bag. Because we have to try and get the other color silk there. Um, let me show everyone how this works. There's a zipper on the bottom of it. That's so we can zipper it open, and you can see that there's absolutely no. nothing in the bag. Is there anything in the bag right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my eye. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Besides that, there's nothing in it. But what we're going to do is I'm going to drop these in there. What was your name again? Steven. Steven. Steven, I'm going to drop these in here. On the count of three, they will magically disappear. Ready? One, two, three. They magically disappear. <laughs> now, what we're going to do next... <laughs> Shelby forgot to remind me to zipper it up. We're going to do this again, except this time you have to remind me to zipper it before we do it, okay? Okay, I'm going to take these, drop them in here. 
Any Patrick words? Any magic words? Have a banana. Have a banana? Okay. We use have a banana. I'm just wave my hand, say, have a banana. And it shows it magically become red and yellow. Now, what we're going to do is. Maybe this works better if both of you try the helping. Why don't you drop them in this time and you wave your hand and say the magic word? Have a banana. <laughs> And I reach out and stuff magically become <laughs> yucky. <laughs> I don't know what magic word did you use? <laughs> kind of gross. Kind of slimy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Steven, that's disgusting. <laughs> Going but very good. Some magicians are so good they can just reach in there like this, wave their hand like that, reach in, and the red and the yellow still come out magically. I'm not as good as that. I mean, I can't just go snap my fingers, reach in, and do it. Look this time when I pull them out? Yeah. Okay, ready? Ooh, you know what color I see. <laughs> Do it fast? No, turn your head, turn your head, and take it out, and don't put it back in there. You want me to turn my head, pull them out, but don't put them back in? <laughs> Maybe if you guys do this, it'll work a little better. Because I'm obviously not having any luck here. What I want you to do, Stephen, I'll hand this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hand the silks to you. You're going to put them in your hand, and we'll get rid of the bag, and we'll try using a magic wand or something, okay? Hold on to these. Never tells our secret. You remember the magician. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have two silks here now. I have a gacked yellow one and a, a gacked red one. Yeah. Okay. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to choose one of the silks. It's a free choice. It's up to you. You can choose the red one or you can choose the yellow one. You want me to go over your choices again? Okay, you can choose the red one or the yellow one. Which one would you like, the red one or the yellow one? Would you like red or yellow? Red. <laughs> That's fine, you can have the red one. Or you can have the yellow one. Yellow. Which one would you like, red or yellow? <laughs> the red one. Okay, now what I need everyone in the audience to do is watch very closely what happens to the yellow one. But I'd like you to watch very closely what happens to the red one, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this one into this hand. Just push it down into this hand, just like this. You're going to want to watch very closely. Watch. Watch. <laughs> Instead of this one? You did. Good. I don't see it. <laughs> you know what happens? Sometimes when I blow the soap, it bounces off one person and heads in the dire other direction and hits the other person. Stephen, <laughs> <laughs> what's that right there? Stephen, reach in there and see if you can find anything in there. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, Stephen. Yeah. Everybody give my two volunteers a big round of applause. Go to the Another volunteer from the audience. 
Now this is actually a very special volunteer because this is somebody who has to be good at following directions. <coughs> What's your name back there? Michael. Thomas, come on up here, Thomas. No, he doesn't call the girl. You know, Thomas, what I'd like you to do what is that? Oh. take this bottle and take this tube. Stand right here and face the audience. It. I'm going to take a matching bottle too. Make sure you show the audience that there's nothing in your tube and that there's nothing in your bottle. Okay? I can't see. Don't make it your bottle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the bottle in the right hand like this and put the tube over top of the bottle just like this. We're going to sandwich it down and we're going to keep our fingers nice and flat. And we're, I'm going to count. And every time I count, you're going to turn yours upside down. Okay? Here we go. And I'm going to turn, we're going to both turn ours upside down. And we're going to count to three. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. We get to three, we're going to lift up and put down. Good job. Ready? Three. <coughs> One, two, three. Lift up, put down. Ready? One, two, three. Lift up, put down. Ready? One, two, three. Lift up, put down. Am I going too fast for you? Okay, what was your name again? Thomas. Thomas. That is correct, Thomas. That is your name. Now, Thomas, what I'd like you to do is this time you count and the audience will count with you and I'll keep up, try and keep up with you in the audience, okay? One, two, three. Ready? You count, you lead the audience. One, two, three. No problem. We must have started off in the wrong hand. Make sure we start facing the same way. In your right hand. Good job. Okay, you count, I'll keep up with you this time. You won't lose me this time. Ready? One, two, three. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start over and do this again. This time you try and keep up with me, okay, Stephen? Thomas. 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 Thomas, ready? This time you try and keep up with me. You scared? <laughs> Here we go. You try and keep up with me. I'm going to move really fast, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Couldn't keep up with me that time, could you? <laughs> Ready? Try and keep up with. Here we go. One, two, three. Lost it. Okay, you can. I'll keep up with you. One, two, three. No problem. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. Which way is your bottle facing? See, my bottle is facing this way. Let's start over in the left hand. Maybe this is my problem. Let's start in the left hand. It's better. Okay, we're facing the same way, right? <laughs> Okay, how are you facing? You know, here's the problem. My bottle's like this, but your bottle's like this. So I have to get my bottle to go from that to that, like that. Everybody can pop this big round of applause. Another volunteer from the audience. Somebody who hasn't gone. Somebody who hasn't gone. What's your name? Maria, you want to come up here and help me? Now, Maria, this isn't actually a magic trick. This is a circus trick, okay? And Maria, what I want you to do is I want you to hold this stick in front of you, just like that, okay? Now, Maria, what we're going to do here is Maria is going to balance that, this plate on top of this stick while she's standing on top of my shoulders, and I'm balancing on one foot on top of this case. Maria, what I need you to do is jump up on my shoulders. Make sure one foot lands here and one foot lands here. <laughs> Jump up on the shoulder. Right up on the shoulder, Maria. Right there. What you doing back there, Maria? <laughs> the ceiling's too low. Can you jump this high? Okay. We'll do the same tricks that Maria's going to stay on the ground. And Maria, what I want you to do is turn around and face the audience. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we go. I'll tell you what, safety first. Maria, I want you to step over here. Step over here, right there. Now I need you to stand nice and still. I need you to hold it real tight here, real tight here. Now I need you to turn your head this way. Just like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> stick right. Turn your this way, just like that. Right. 
Marianne, he'd say, right there. And I don't always get this on the first or the second try, but what I mean is a front row on everybody's lap. Just like that, nice and loud. Nice and loud. Nice and loud. Nice and loud. Maria, stay still. Stay still. Stay really still. Hey, Maria, you can look. off the ground just like that. Go ahead and try that. <coughs> Good job! <laughs> Maria, can you lift the other foot up off the ground? <coughs> Good job, Maria! Okay, Maria, now can you lift both feet up off the ground at the same time? Good answer, Maria! <laughs> okay, Maria, you're holding it like this right now. Can you take one hand off and put it at your side just like that? Good no. job, you just did it! The hand that's at your side now, can you put it on your head like this? Go ahead and put a hand on your head. Good job. Now can you lift one foot up off the ground? And can you pat your head at the same time? Go ahead, give it a try. Good job, Maria. Everyone give Maria a big Thank you, Maria. Maria, take a bow, just like that. Go ahead and take a bow to the audience. Go to see Maria. Maria! Thank you, Maria. Everyone give Maria another huge round of applause. The next tr I'm going to try and do a balancing trick with this, but to do this, I have to get the plate spinning nice and fast. Now, sometimes when I do this, it might start to wobble. Be careful, because once it starts wobbling, sometimes it comes flying off right into the audience. So this means be ready to either duck or eat plate if it starts to wobble. I'll eat plate. I'll eat Okay, here we go. Stop Who here knows what sound a seal makes? Our art, art, art. That's right. Art, art, art. Just like that. Nice and loud, though, and they clap at the same time. Art, art, art. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to balance this on one finger like a seal would balance a ball on his nose. When I start balancing this, I want you guys to make seal sounds as loud as you can. You can't make these sounds loud enough, as loud as you possibly can. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the plate up in the air and I'm going to catch it. When I catch it, I want everyone to be absolutely quiet. Okay. Let's try this. As soon as I start balancing it as loud as you can. Here we go. And when I catch it, it's absolutely quiet. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Good job. Give her another round of applause. I should visit the aquarium. Some of your seals make some pretty weird sounds. <laughs> How many people here have ever mailed somebody else a letter? A lot of you. Now, Michael, you should, this is Michael. you're the birthday Michael, right? Come up here, birthday Michael. I'm going to show you how a magician sends mail. Okay? What I want you to do is stand right here. I'm going to take this piece of paper, and every magician in the world has one of these. It's called a magic cloth. We're really not supposed to show people this, but I'm going to show everyone here how we send letters back and forth. Now what we do is we take a piece of paper and we can write a message using a magic wand on it. It's one of my magic wands. I'm just going to write a little birthday message. Do you like balloons? Is he even writing anything? Yeah. You can't see it until after it's sent though. Now what I want you to do, Michael, is I want you to take this piece of paper, I want you to rip it in half. Just rip it right down the center. Just I need the birthday present. Right down the center. Oh, that's Close enough. Just... Michael's a perfectionist, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what I want you to do is put the two halves on top of each other, just rip them right down the center. Just Shred them, and then put the two halves on top of each other again. Just rip them down the shred center. Just shred it up. Just pretend that's your report card and keep shredding. Good job. That's good. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the magic cloth and I'm going to fold it up. Now this is just another magician would have a cloth just like this. But what I want you to do is I want you to just drop a piece of paper right in there. I'm going to shake them up like this. I want you to take a step on this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to three. When I get to three, I want everyone to yell, Happy Birthday! And magically, all the pieces of paper should disappear. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three! Happy Birthday! Magically, all the pieces of paper should disappear. The 
but that's not half as impressive as what we're going to do next. Everybody yell, happy birthday on three again. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> happy birthday. Magically, all the pieces of paper came back. Put them in here. Every, everybody on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. All the pieces of paper disappeared. Just now, you want to, I could bring them back, though. No, Sean. You want to see them now? Yeah. But I could bring them back. When's that? No, no. They're in there. Are you yeah. sure? Uh -huh. Okay. Magically, all the pieces of paper disappear. Uh, but what we, we have to do okay. is the, another, <laughs> another magician on the other side of the world might have a cloth just like this. It might be a different color. And what he'll do is he'll fold his cloth up just like this, and he'll shake it. And the, uh, if you're real quiet, you might be able to hear something. Mm -hmm. Then what he would do is just reach in, and what would he find? A card. What does it say? Can you read it? Happy birthday to Michael. Have a happy magical birthday from Joe's and Magician. Good job. Yay. Yay. I'd like to teach everybody how to do a magic trick at home. This is one that you guys pay really close attention. A card trick? Well, it's sort of a card trick. It's on a card that I made. This is something you can do at home. What I did was I took a card. I put one dot on this side of the card. My card has four dots on this side. It has three dots on this side, six dots on this side, back to one dot on this side. Yeah, some people might figure this. I'll show everyone how it's done in a second. Let me go through it one more time. If you call on them already, don't tell anyone. So we're going to go through it. My card has one dot on this side. I tell people that it has four dots on this side. Sometimes it has three dots on this side, except for days that it has six side, six dots on that side, back to one dot on this side. I get it. <laughs> you guys figure it out? Yeah. You hit it. You hit it. Hiding all, hiding two. There's, there's one under your hand, right? That's right. I tell people this card has one dot on this side. It actually has two dots on this side. When I hold it like this, people think that there's one dot. When I hold it like this, and I tell people there's three dots, they usually believe me. They think that there's one, two, three. They think it's an optical illusion. It's called an optical illusion. There's actually only two. Same on the other side. When I tell the people there's four dots on this side, they believe there's four. There's actually five dots on this side. And when you hold it like this, they think there's one, two, three, four. When you hold it like this, they believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's called optical illusion. Actually, there's only how many? Five. Five, that's right. Sometimes I run into a problem when I'm holding the card like this and I say, there's three dots on this side. And people ask me, well, move your hand. Then I get in trouble because they'll see there's actually how many on this side? No, no, this side has three on it. Let's try this again. Same on the other, same problem happens on the other side. When I'm holding it like this, I tell them there's six dots on this side, and they ask me to move my hand, and then they see there's actually how many on this side? Six. 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 That's right. You guys understand how this trick works. Let's go over this one more time. There's how many dots on this side? Three. And I hold it like this. Three. And I hold it like this. Three. And I hold it like this. Three. How many dots on the other side? Four. Six. 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 Five. 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 The other side has eight on it. <laughs> I have to apologize to everyone. I have to stop the show real quick. We're going to do a quick commercial that I had to put into my show, and then we'll get back on with the show, okay? Can I have a helper for my commercial? What's your name? Michael. Michael. Of course it is. Coming up here, Michael. <laughs> Everybody's name is Michael. <clears throat> okay, Michael, this is a new kitchen appliance, oh, a commercial for a new kitchen one. appliance called the Vegematic. <laughs> okay. Now, before we do this, how many people here have ever seen Wheel of Fortune? He's going to get his hands at all. How many people have seen Wheel of Fortune? No, no, we're not going to use a hand for this. Oh, we're going to use Now, do you know who Vanna oh, White is, Michael? The guy who? Vanna White? No. On Wheel of Fortune, she's the lady who turns the letters. Oh, okay. Okay, you're going to be our Vanna White tonight. Okay? Michael's going to be our Vanna White tonight. Now what I need you to do is hold these, hold these carrots, just like that, and you're going to use these carrots to point at the Vegematic. Okay? Hold like that. Whenever I say the word Vegematic, you point at the Vegematic. Good job. It has to be a nice big point like this. Go. Vegematic. Just like that. Nice and big. Good job. Let's give it a try. Ready? Vegematic. Vegematic. You don't have to say it. Just point. Vegematic. Vegematic. Vegematic, Vegematic. Good job. <laughs> this is the new Vegematic. 
Uh, uh, oh. Some people say it looks like a there. fish. Now, yeah. Let me have one of these carrots. Let me show you how this works. Mm -hmm. Now this is the new Vegematic. Vegematic. Good job. <laughs> oh, you step back over that one. Face down. Now let me show everyone how the Vegematic Vegematic works. <laughs> you know, some carrots might fall on the floor, just leave them there when they fall, okay? Now the Vegematic Vegematic Good job. <laughs> is designed to cut carrots. This is how it works. Ready? You just put a carrot through the hole there and chop. It chops right through the carrot. Put a stand in there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, some people aren't very impressed with that. They say, well, there's kitchen appliances out there that can cut a lot more than one carrot at one time. The Vegematic can also. You put one carrot here, let me have another carrot. Put another carrot here, and the Vegematic will cut right through bigger points, nice and big. Vegematic, good job. The Vegematic will cut through <laughs> two at one time, just like that. Go ahead and leave them there. Now, a lot of people are still not impressed. They say there's machines out there that can cut through thousands of carrots in this minute. There's something very, very special about the Vegematic. The Vegematic, the Vegematic, the Vegematic will not cut through fingers and it will not cut flesh. Let me show you what I mean. I put a carrot right here, but before I do, I say, Vegematic, this is a finger. It's not a carrot. And it will not cut through it. <laughs> you know what I did? Vegematic, this is a finger. It's not a carrot, and it won't cut through it. <laughs> Don't tell. Put your finger in there. Finger. Finger. Okay, I think I think I know what's wrong. I think it needs real flesh. Put your finger in there. Now, Michael, I asked you for a hand, right? <laughs> Leave the carrot there, leave the carrot there. Okay. Go ahead and put your hand no. in there. No. <laughs> I will. Go ahead, I will. All the way in there, all the way in there. I'm going to close this. Sorry, just sort of give me a thumbs up, that's right. <laughs> now what we're going to do, actually you know what we'll do? We're going to stick one carrot here. <laughs> now, let me explain to everyone what, what, what's going to happen. Now, there's a really good possibility that what should happen is that maybe the blade might come down and there's a possible chance that it'll, it'll go through both carrots probably, not definitely though, without cutting, without touching Michael. Well, this should work. There's, there's, there's a good chance it will work. Before we do this, I have a question. Are you nervous? I'm not asking you, I'm asking myself. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? No. Ready? Okay. What do you do, Michael? Is raise your left hand like this? Wait a minute. Just like that, Michael. Just like that. Nice and big. And say bye-bye. Here we go. That's your writing hand, Michael. Is this your writing hand? You might not have to do homework the rest of the semester. Hey, how about that? Okay. Here we go. Ready? Ready? One. <laughs> Three weeks ago, I tried to do very, very messy. So what I want you to do is, Michael, I want you to do it. Are you okay, Michael? <laughs> Now with your left hand, I want you to reach around and grab your thumb so we don't drop anything. <laughs> Here we go, ready? Bye, Michael. Bye, Michael. Bye, Michael. Actually, you know what? This time, when we get to three, I want everyone in the audience to give a nice, big Halloween. Yeah! Just like that. Ready? One, two, three. Let's give it a practice. Ah! Ah! Thank you, Michael. Nice and loud. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. We'll get to three this time. Nice and loud. Ready? Are you okay, Michael? Here we go. Do you want to close your eyes? Here we go. On the count of three. Ready? Everyone in the audience. Ready? One, two, three. Once again, this is the 
the veggie mayonnaise, it cuts carrots, but it doesn't cut fingers. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Who here knows what imagination is? Who here knows what imagination is? What's imagination? It's not really happening? Nope. That's exactly right. I'm going to show everyone here how good you guys can use your own imagination. You have one? No, I don't have a balloon. No, I don't have a balloon. No, I don't have a balloon. Okay. This is a magic wand. This is a balloon. If I take the magic wand, and I shove it in the balloon, the balloon will go. Ah! That's right. What's something that would pop this balloon even more than a needle? A needle. That's right. Orchid. I brought with me today the world's longest. Ooh. The world's strongest. Ooh. The world's sharpest. Ooh. And by far the world's most pointy needle. Some magicians will say, watch, I'm going to pass this needle right through this blue. Here we go. Hand up your hand. Oh, wow. Because actually, if the needle touches the balloon, the balloon will pop. But if you use your imagination, you can imagine this needle going right through this balloon. You really have to think hard. Really concentrate and just relax and imagine the needle getting closer and closer to the balloon. Imagine it getting closer. All that did it possibly. Are you still imagining? <laughs> <laughs> Bumblebee. The first balloon I make is a 
Wait a minute, I can only make for the birthday boy. Why don't you come up here, Michael? I have to okay. measure your head for this one. Okay. Come on, Michael. Now go. Now, you guys can try and guess what kind of balloon I'm making here. A hat. This is a hat. What kind of hat? Linia. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> no, no, I'm going to make friends. Give it to me. What would you like, Cal? What else? I don't want a dog. A dog? Give me a kitten. Let's go together. A big dog or a little dog? I have a dog. I have a guy that's not playing the room. I have a horse. Big dog. Big dog. I have first. Put it on top of the arrow. <coughs> One. Big dog.
Sam, I'm a balloon doctor. I can fix it. <laughs> Gotta be very careful with them. Which one pops? Oh, that would be everywhere. There we go. All right. What would you like? That looks like a big dog. A cat? A, a, a boar? Bird. A bird. A bird. A bird. You mean like this? Yeah. Yay. I look super nice. Oh my god. Whoa. Did I hit you with it? Oh, you're not. I'm not going to try it again. Open it on the side, what would you like? Spicy. Special kind of balloon. What would you like? 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 What would